The River Mono in South Wales. It's being used to test the Royal Engineers and their combat water supply system. The water is being sucked out of the river and treated as it would on operations or humanitarian missions where access to drinking water is limited. It takes about an hour to set up and then obviously pumping the water through takes about three hours to get potable water at the other end. The combat water supply system was introduced a couple of years ago. It can produce up to 1,800 litres per hour and can store 5,000 litres. This is like the main part of the, the water purification, so it's called the reaming unit. It's okay. like a big computer inside, it's got all the sensors, and this will like open and close all the valves on the system for the water to flow through, Whether it because it does loads of tests and all that sort of good stuff through there. Once it comes out of there, it goes through the filters, which are just behind us here. They go through them filters and then carry on into the pillar tank, which you can see just there. Ah, so that's the, that's the pillar tank. That's the pillar tank, yeah, yeah. But the system hasn't been without its teething issues. Troops have reported sensor issues on the Riemann unit. Representatives from Defence Equipment and Support are here to see what improvements can be made. In terms of the complexity of it, a, I think there is a very important element there, which is the training of, of the soldiers to be comfortable and confident in using that, that kit. That's probably something that we actively need to look into. Then there are also some certain feedback we've received uh, regarding how the kit has been supported. So we are going to be looking with our contractor on improving on that and in, in terms of the support that we can give to those guys so that they can carry out their objectives. The engineers say their role is to enable the army to live, move and fight. Providing drinking water is key to that. Everyone now is kind of getting it out into these different locations. It gets used in Kenya quite a lot uh, and the guys pump water regularly in Kenya, um, supporting battle group operations out there. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Monmouth. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.